Um, we see the volcano in Iceland erupting and we see the uh, lava fall or water watershed or whatever you call it forming and uh, leading in outside of the crater of, of the walls of the volcano. Then the question is where the, all this lava goes, okay? The question is uh, has several parts. Part of it, of course, we see comes over the uh, walls of the crater spillage. You can see this color, the brownish red is a sign of oxidation also. Some part of it go into this kind of holes here. You see this, these holes here. These are real holes. They are caves. And uh, this is formed when the lava, which is in contact with the air, gets cold quicker than the lava, which is inside the lava flow. So the outside gets cold, solidifies. The inside is yet molten and it stays fluid. So it moves. And the movement of it creates a tunnel, kind of tunnel. We call it a tube or lava tube, we call them. These lava tubes are conduits, are pipes, are tubes that uh, guide the lava to wherever the deep of the ground is taking them. As you can see, the, we have now the eruption is starting, the seven to 12 minute cycle they have. That's the periodicity of these uh, eruptions. And uh, as they fall down from the rim of the crater, the edge of the crater, outside walls of it, um, they come and uh, sink into the different cavities that is formed by this process of solidification of the top part of the lava and the fluidity of the inside part of it, which creates these lava tubes. Let's watch this and see what will happen now. It may take a while that uh, the whole eruption comes and takes over. So as you can see, now we have two streams running uh, out of the crater. And they're carrying with them all kinds of gases, including the steam. People ask how a steam can exist. Yes, yeah, steam exists in minerals, biotite mica, which goes into subduction zones, accretion wedges, which is in the, the ocean floor, going back to the under subduction zone into the crater, into the subduction area, into the mantle, they create this kind of uh, uh, m juicy, watery minerals. It's not fluid water, it's a water trapped in the crystalline structure. Because water uh, molecules, if you know it, you, you, have, to, you have to know the chemistry. They are not, uh, negative, uh, they are not uh, neutral, they have a, a charge, electric charge, because oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen. Toward the oxygen is more negative, toward the hydrogen is more positive. So they're kind of charged and they can attach themselves to all kinds of minerals who have a little bit charged like salt, like olivine, uh, um, you know, all kind of minerals and metals and uh, elements. The same with the sulfur. Sulfur is like oxygen also has this kind of a structure. Uh, to a lesser degree, electronegativity of sulfur is slightly less than the uh, electronegativity of the oxygen. So. We, this is what we see here, all these kind of gases and steams you see coming out. That's the, one of the reasons the, uh, the lava actually boils, as we see bubbles up, because these gases are expanding. And that is the way the atmosphere and the earth started. People who say that uh, the lava and water, yes, of course, this is the way our atmosphere, our oceans were created. They said comets had a role in it, but I believe that comets had a secondary role in that. Earth already has a watery mantle, is full of water in the crystalline structure of the minerals and rocks. Look, the, where the lava is going, is going to that cavity I showed you. That's the lava tube. That is the lava tube that I've mentioned. Other lava goes down there, you can see. There are more lava tubes here and there. You can see this eruption is almost finished now. And the next eruption will be between 7 to 12 minutes. And as you can see, these caves, these lava tubes are so huge 
the, the practice the, the word swallowed all that lava coming out of it out of the crater i show you when what's the volume of this i'll put that clip again at the end of this video as you can see this is where the lava goes those holes you see there they are the beginning of the the openings of the lava tubes uh, surprisingly we have lava tubes also on the moon and on many other planets that have a, a volcanism we expect these things exist including mars we expect the Mars and Moon have these lava tubes, so we can put our equipment actually there. Uh, being away from the radiation and being away from the harsh environment of the space. And uh, actually our future uh, colonies on the Moon will be there. I will put a picture of those kind of lava tubes when the top of the mask is broken on the Moon. We can see that. But you can see all the lava is uh, draining like a massive sinkhole into that uh, lava tube and some of it which cannot uh, which the lava tube cannot take flow over and it gradually add to the surrounding environment the uh, thickness of the wall and the uh, base and the foot of the volcano this is the example of a lava tube on the moon we call them real r-i-l-l-e and some of them actually are uh, the top of them has collapsed you can see in the next image this is that real uh, the top of it or lava tube has collapsed and you can see even the debris is under it under that hole in the hole look at it this is where we can actually place our stuff I know that in America they have placed a lot of nuclear weapons and such things they store in them inside lava tubes you can place a whole city there uh, other countries probably have done the same and this is how it is you can see the lava tube in the lighter beige color and the opening a skylight entrance there on top and this is where the solidified lava uh, has formed a tube kind of structure. In this image, you can see this is one of the real lava tubes on Earth. It probably is in Hawaii or in somewhere in Dakota, America. Anyway, uh, or in Oregon and Colombia. Um, these are, this is another one of these lava tubes. You can see on the roof of it, actually, the cracks, desiccation cracks, where the thing has really got, uh, yeah, the freezing of the lava. And here you see that the flood of the lava coming toward the people who are standing there doesn't come toward them. All sinks into the lava tubes. That's the reason they can stand there. Otherwise, this lava will flow toward them. They are not more than, probably less than a kilometer away from that. And that, yet you can see that it's all sinking into the ground. Uh, around one kilometer, one, yeah, around that, about that time, about uh, that dimension. Anyway, you can see here that the lava tube, oh God, look at it, it's like a, you can call it waterfall or <laughs> lava fall or whatever you like. This is, this is so amazing, look at it. The size of this shed, shedding, lava shedding, this is the size of the edge you can see, it's amazing. Never seen anything like that before. I, 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 I've not seen, you may have seen, I've not seen. And this is where the lava ends up, from the uh, lava tubes, the conductor toward the uh, whatever is lower ground, and they can flow toward it. They gradually fill up the valleys and uh, really any cavity or anything there, make the landscape, you know, covered completely in the lava. Uh, lower valley was pre, uh, was is now filling with the lava gradually because the two walls, eastern and western wall, was breached. You can see the flood of the lava actually now going and covering all the area around. And that's what's really what we are seeing. This is where the lava goes. Through the lava tubes, flows toward the, any, anywhere that is lower ground. Gravity pulls it down, you know, it just goes down. As you can see here in this example. It forms all kind of structures. You can when it's solidifies solidifies. Now you can see all the main horizon and the kind of lava we see the Mahoy Hoy and the ropey lava or ah uh, ah uh, as the name suggests ah uh, as a sign of kind of very sharp sometimes those ones. Mahoy Hoy is like this rope structure. Anyway, these are the vocabulary that we, we, we can use and uh, as you can see this lava is flowing toward the lower ground. And it feels where people, you, it's, 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 it's fast flowing. 
in a way. But in a way, because it's on a slope, people can get close to it. You can see in the next clip, actually. People go close to it, put a hammer into it, a geological hammer or anything. And uh, the first person is a little afraid, then later you realize that there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs>